welcome back into another episode of Horror Night. Um, Zero, this one's going to be about the Max Headroom hijack. Exactly what it was and when it happened. Um, a lot of you have probably already heard about this. There's a lot of videos of this uh, on the internet already, of course, on YouTube. But I wanted to do my own take on this situation. Because I always found it kind of intriguing and wondered why this, this happened. Because we still don't have answers as to that. But uh, basically, this has happened in 1987 in Chicago, Illinois. So there was uh, TV stations there in Chicago that night that were essentially uh, interrupted and hijacked for a moment. Um, and the first uh, station that was hijacked was WGN-TV. Uh, it was during a sports segment. And then about two hours later, a second channel in Chicago was hit with the same hijackers. Uh, PBS member station WTTW, I believe, was the name of the station, and during a Doctor Who broadcast, um, which is pretty pretty funny actually. But um, so the, but the interruption basically was was a person dressed as Max Headroom. If you don't know who Max Headroom was, he was a fictional character played by Matt Brewer in um, British TV back in the day. So it's a, it was a fictional character, but this person dressed up as them. There was like metal panning in the background. There was a lot of distortion to the video. You couldn't even really tell what was being said during a lot of the um, the interruption. But it was just really eerie and really creepy. Because, you know, imagine just watching TV and this, this interruption just happens. You have no idea what's going on. And the stations couldn't fix it. They couldn't figure out where the signal was coming from. Uh, I believe the second video ended with... Um, the person who was dressed up as Max being spanked by a woman and he was yelling, they're coming to get me, uh, for whatever that means. It, it might be all a joke. There might have been something more sinister to it. We don't really know. It lasted about 90 seconds. It wasn't like a long broadcast or hijack, but um, experts say that it required extensive technical expertise to be able to even pull this off, you know, back there in the 80s to be able to hijack and do this and not be traced. Um, and the fact that they were dressed as Max Headroom just made it all that much more weird and suspicious as to why this was happening. Um, here's the real kicker, though. So all this happens. Of course, there was investigations into this. And, um, you know, there was a lot of... This was, you know, kind of taking over for, you know, everybody was hearing about this. I remember this being a pretty big deal. Not when it happened, obviously, but, like, later in life... Uh, people were still talking about this situation, I guess. Um, the culprits were never caught. So they never figured out who did this, why they did it. They could still be out there. Was there more of a sinister thing towards this? We'll never know. It's just something that kind of just happened. And we're never going to get those answers. And that, to me, is the most creepy thing about it. Is we still don't know who did this. They could be doing other things more sinister things in this world that we don't even know about. The fact that they hijacked this and tried to scare a bunch of people. Most likely this was just some prank that was pulled off really well and is now like a cult hit and really talked about even by people like me today, you know, on the internet. Um, you just, but you still don't know. There's always that darker, sinister side that could be there that we just don't know about. So the fact they've never caught is is kind of is kind of creepy to me. Um, but yeah, just just imagine watching TV back then in the 80s, enjoying a show, enjoying a segment, late night television. You're having your TV dinner or something. And then you just get interrupted and just imagine. <laughs> Yeah. 